here. Guys, that shit fires me up. You think those people want to be out there working? Hell no, no one wants to be doing that shit. But they're there, because they gotta do it. They gotta make that bread. I've done field work, manual labor myself. It's not fun. But hey, they show up, they get it done, and they do it to their best of their ability. What's your excuse? What's our excuse for not putting in the work to reach our goals? They're doing it to survive, to reach their financial goals. What's your excuse? They're out here, cold rain, sun or shine, whatever it is. And they're doing it, baby. Let's go. Monday vibes. Guys, quick little uh, package update. Since you guys have seen the last clip, I mowed the lawn, editing a YouTube video for you guys, and at four o'clock I'm gonna be working out. But just got a little package from my friends over at Life Aid. Let's see what they sent us. I also asked for a little sample of some other goods. If you guys watched the last video, I'm at the end of it, you guys know what I ordered and what I've been having trouble with lately. That's super important to fitness and recovery. So, so we got. Sample pack of their immunity to go. This is super important right now, especially with you know what's going on in the world. So it's very important to get all your micronutrients in. This has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D3, magnesium, and zinc, as well as some L-organine. No caffeine in this, five calories. Uh, you basically just mix it in, zero sugar, awesome. And then this is what I was pumped on. So this is like a little sample package of these bad boys, baby. So these are their Dream Aid. Basically, this just helps you go to sleep. Naturally sweetened melatonin and valerian, no caffeine. You just literally add water to this before you go to bed and you try it out. So I straight up told them like, hey, I want to try this out and compare it to the Beam, Beam Dream Aid, because I've been looking into that as well. It's more of like a hot chocolate. This is more of like a vitamin C type deal, tangerine flavored. So I'm gonna take this before bed and then we're gonna be good to go. Try this tonight. I'll show you guys whenever I take it and then have this probably right after my workout, get all the vitamins and minerals post-workout. And yeah, see you guys next clip. They want to see those officers involved. They want to see those officers arrested. Officers arrested, arrested, arrested. Nice. Come on. Four by four, 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 GC3 ain't no more. Come on. I give them chance, chance, chance. No matter what. And I even told them, please. I found it crazy. The police are shooting. Nice. They're supposed to tell you to freeze. Fuck nobody. I can't do it. 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 Yeah, 20 so far. Good. Six. Seven. Good. The last clip was 50 chin ups. Four time, eight minute time cap. I think I managed like 240, 230, like 229, 230 right there. So, oh, that was spicy, man. Blew up my biceps. I was trying to use my back more at the end, but just couldn't. I kind of like lost it. But 240, or two, 230 was the time. Now we're doing 21, 15, nine. 
um, shoulder to overhead, burpees, scaling it with some calories. Yeah, man, I li I just got my time was 3:37, so 3:47 actually. Last nine. Come on. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, three more. Seven, eight, nine. Good. Let's go. Send it on the ski. Full send, baby. Let's go. Last nine. Let's go. 45 calories. Let's go. Come on. Good. Alright guys, quick little update. Backyard is looking pretty prepped for cement to go in. So where that hose is right there, it's gonna be all cement. Boom. And we'll have a rig. So much more room for activities with an awesome view. Nice little breeze going too. Look at that, that's gonna be our view out there. Wow. So pumped. Let's go. Initial taste test, not bad, pretty good. Me and to go. Update. All right guys, so I'm not sure if you guys saw it on the time lapse, but this is the current update so i'm super pumped because he actually thought that we were only going to go to about right here and this extra foot is going to give us just so much more room for basically from here to the next line over of width for the rack on this side of the rig so from here to the fence the rig will maybe extend we're going to start the rig maybe like right here where this line is thinking because I want enough room to like split jerk whatever types of lifts you want to do there so from here it's about seven foot so from that line maybe to about halfway here so that line over there boom to like halfway here leaving us tons of room for activities out here so super pumped guys got it prepped and I just got news that he might be coming Saturday which I don't think we're gonna have enough time to throw down Murph on it, but we might just have to postpone the Murph. Just keep on going with what we're doing. Once it's in, rig it out, and then do the Murph once. We'll throw the Murph down on the rig, so yeah. All right guys, so another little update picked up. Four pairs of 25 pound bumper plates, one pair of 15s, one pair of fives, a set of collars, two sets of 22 barbells, 28 millimeters, 20 kgs. We're gonna need them for the new rack. All right guys, so quick update. As you guys can see on the floor, we got two barbells, 20 kg, 28 millimeter. Thank you, Ryan. Shout out Ryan, the owner of Indian Hills CrossFit, my first ever CrossFit gym. Asked him if I should get 30 millimeter, 28, 28 and a half. He said definitely go with 28s. Went 28s. Got two pairs of 25 pound bumper plates because a lot of workouts call for 95 pounds. And I'm always having to scale up with 115. I'm definitely not gonna scale down. And then we got a set of 15s. Cause some days you just need to add 10 pounds to each side rather than 10 on each side. And then we got the two and a half, because also some lifts you just want to add five pounds rather than a whole five on each side, etc. We got some collars. Shout out to Aaron, my gym plug, on hooking it up with the stuff. I was gonna get a GHD, but like I said, guys, I was kind of just weighing out my options for winter, and I'm probably not gonna have room for that. I'd rather make room for something else, like a rower, where the GHD would go. 
which more people can use it and maybe like a sled which more people can use it rather than just a ghd for myself maybe down the road once i have my own bigger space facility but as of now two extra barbells because as you know we have three squat racks now pairs of those 25s because you know some workouts call for those and that way we can race against people compete do it together etc anyways guys that's a little update so you guys can tell the backyard is getting nice and primed super pumped on that got the equipment which is going to complete the rack setup etc pumped on that as well and then once the cement goes in we'll lay out the mats do the outer finishes make it look pretty and then start building the rig exciting exciting stay tuned guys for more all right guys post run vibes good morning nothing better than starting the day with a nice little run getting active getting sweaty i could even just be regular cardio at home but sun is shining today how to get out there and guess what as you guys can tell by my tone of voice uh i'm feeling good i actually slept good so the last few days i've been drinking this special little thing that you guys actually saw earlier which was dream aid by life aid basically like a sleep supplement helping you sleep i've been taking it the last two days and it's been awesome i don't know if it's the dream aid itself it hasn't been windy lately so i've been sleeping with my window open and honestly i've been sleeping really good just in a cold room and i've been falling asleep a lot quicker so i definitely think the little dream aid packets have had something to do with it but today i actually get in my cooling pad today which i'm going to unbox and show you guys and then the next few vlogs i'm going to be reviewing it for you guys see how it does so tonight it's going to be a combination of dream aid and the chili pad let's go chili pad We got the chili pad. I'm gonna be doing a setup at the end of this video, so we're gonna hold off on this. Oh shit. Great, this actually wasn't ours. Well guys, the wrong package showed up. Uh, I gotta check something. Hey, it's like, look what freaking, look what came in. Are you kidding me? That's what came me? in. So freaking bummed. All right guys, so you guys saw in the previous video the little mock-up of the home gym. Well, what I originally ordered was some fake boxwood, just greenery leaf panels. And this is what I got. Look at this. You guys are freaking kidding. So my Little Pony looking nail polish. We got My Little Pony play set. Oh my gosh. We got some headphones. Oh, for the bangers. Too bad this isn't any of my stuff. Children's Christ. CDs, but not only one, guys. We got a whole freaking road trip full of CDs. We still to get Christian party pack, baby. What the hell? We even got like a little pink drawer. What the heck? I better be getting a refund. Anyways, I already ordered, uh, reordered the same products. Message seller, I need to get a refund because what the hell am I gonna do with that? I need it for the gym to be ready for this weekend. Would you just sip on the pumpo? The pumpy. I'm already feeling lady, dude. Let's hit it. What's that anti grumpo pumpo? Let's go. All right, we're going three second negative, two second pause at the bottom, seven reps, four sets. So our third set right now, working at, I don't know where we're at. We're going to finish at 255, though. Hopefully. We'll see how this set feels. Let's go. Let's go. Have ever seen a big man get that low? Hell no. One, two, good. Let's go. Come on, fight for it, please. Let's go. Let's go. Buzzing? Let's go. 
Let's go. That's a low low. How long does it take? Every, the whole time there's no rest. Oh. It's literally just full weight. Phase. Let's go. On you, on your back, 255 the whole time. It's hard to catch my breath right now, but also I felt dizzy. I was like seeing stars <laughs> just from like constantly holding your breath because you're holding your breath that entire time down there, yeah. up here. It felt brutal. Done though. Those, the more sets we did, the easier it got. Three sets, 16 reps, one, two, three, four. Spicy. Oh. Come on, 15 seconds. Take it out. Come on. He's a beast, guys. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> was. Workout was 90 calories on the assault bike. Told KPZ to hit the ski. That way he has more pull. He could get him get the calories easier. Complete 90 calories every two minutes. Jump off. Do five deadlifts at body weight. We just stuck to 225, and then five chin-ups, and then back on whatever machine you're on. Until you completed 90 total calories. Final time was 8.55. Was not expecting that. I was like, holy shit, I'm not gonna finish. Hey, we got 8.55, super pumped. Hard workout, feeling good though. I definitely came off that and I was like, like, I, I pushed it, so feel good about that. What do you think about that workout? Freaking. It was hard? Lungs tickled? Freaking dead. Tickle the lungs. The whole workout. Yeah. <laughs> No. Hey, KPZ is new to CrossFit and he's been killing it. One thing I didn't want to do with him is just scar him on some of the workouts. He says he was scarred on some, but... I hate burpees. <laughs> but honestly, it was him who scarred himself because he's not one to just let up. Like, oh, you can do something different instead. He'll just go at whatever, whatever everyone else is doing or whatever the workout is. So I feel like that's why he scarred himself, but so far he's been killing it. We've definitely been scaling back on some things, but it's still... Him versus him, so he's getting better in here every time he's in here. So, dude, again, you killed it today. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, that's it for the workout. Let's go. All right, guys, so your boy has been having trouble sleeping for like the past two weeks. We're just now getting into summer. I live in a place where it's bipolar weather, but it's starting to heat up again. And I have a memory foam mattress, which absorbs body heat like no other. Like, I'll be waking up at night and I'm drenched in sweat. Disgusting, I know. Wakes me up throughout the night. Not fun. So, recently on one of Rich Roning's video, he got the 8-pod cooling pad sleep system. I've been getting tons of ads for it. it looked awesome, like something I would want to buy. I looked it up, just added my budget. And then I saw Rich Froning with it. Said he loved it, tried it out, loved it. Still out of my budget. My boy, Nick Bear, recently reviewed this or said he had it and absolutely loved it on his YouTube channel I had to get it literally this is like the answer from above because it's in my price range it was still pretty expensive but way less expensive than like the eight pod sleep and other stuff out there 90 day sleep test guarantee so the chili pad we're gonna try it out Chili 
pad is set up remote control here I'm setting it to 59 degrees tonight cool and basically all I had to do was put water in this little reservoir here set the temperature and the pad goes on top of the mattress underneath the sheet which is right here set to 59 degrees we're gonna test it out tonight and uh, I hope we we sleep well guys so yeah let's get some sleep Thank you.